back in my backyard. We're gonna do stuff. Hey there guys, welcome to another episode of Backyard Kayaking. We're outside in the in my backyard. And today we're gonna be doing a review, quick review on everything that we bring on one of our kayak camping trips. So stick around, we'll be right back and we'll get into it. Welcome back and let's get to it. Sleeping bag, you might want one. We got ours on Amazon, probably about 80 bucks. These are down sleeping bags. Down is definitely the way to go. Um, be careful when you're drying these out. Let them dry out in the sun and fluff them when you're done. It's a tube. No, I'm just kidding. It's an under quilt. These are awesome. They go with our hammocks and I'll have another video coming out later on with a whole hammock setup with our war bonnet blackbirds, so stay tuned for that. Speaking of hammocks, these are our hammocks. They're continuous loop on either side, and I'm really hoping that we got some new straps that these are gonna be really, really easy to set up. They're, like I said, they're the war bonnet blackbird XLCs, so stick around for the video for that. That's not important. <laughs> I'm just kidding, this is super important. We got ours at Dick's Sporting Goods and we spent probably about 80 bucks on this one. You definitely wanna spend the money. It comes with everything you need, including antiseptic wipes and all the different medications and bandages that you would ever possibly need, except for actually needing professional help. Along with our hammocks, we just got these. They are the bare butt tree straps. I'm really hoping that these work out because on my last trip, I got super wet because of our tree straps and I'm an idiot. So wait for the video for these. Hopefully they'll come out soon and I'll give you a good in-depth review of these later on. And this is the Sawyer water tube filter. Um, this is one of those just in cases you might want to bring one. Just in case you can't find a source of fresh water, we always bring this with us just in case. Diddy bag with snacks. This is my favorite part, snacks. Bring snacks. We bring Slim Jims and if I can get to them, there you are, Jack Wings Babe Jerky. Where the hell's the other one? We have a whole bag of nuts somewhere. We also bring some trail mix with some salty and some sweet. Snacks are always good to bring with you. Bilge pump, you don't need this. I'm just kidding. You need this. It's a bilge pump. If you don't know what a bilge pump does, it pumps water out like that in case you're sinking. Don't sink. Bug spray, just in case. Coffee, the most important thing to bring. Medical pack is most important. This is second. We bring the Folgers steep bags. These actually came in really handy. We tried a couple different things. We tried the instant coffee. It didn't work. So we tried these and they worked fantastic. You just let them steep for about 60 seconds, add your sugar and cream and you're good to go. I like to film. Which one is this? It's like Christmas. Ah, okay. These are hygiene ditty bags. We use the smaller ones because there's not a lot of stuff that you bring for hygiene, but just to give you guys a quick overview of them, um, we bring feminine hygiene, for her and obviously toothpaste, toothbrush and deodorant and sometimes extra underwear just in case. Cooking stuff. This is our camp stove. Bring fuel, collapsible cups, a boiling pot, along with some Neos and then the actual camp stove. Um, in another one of the videos, I'll actually do an in-depth review of our cooking process. So stay tuned for that one. Bathroom ditty bag. This is not hygiene. This is in case you need to stop somewhere and go to the bathroom. It comes with compostable toilet paper and a shovel for number two. So these are kayak gloves. It's really important to have gloves so that you don't rub your hands raw while you're on the trail. Ah! There's my nut sack. <laughs> this is our other snack pack. We bring the Cars Salty and Sweet Snack Packs. These are really good for protein and sweets. Keep you nice and energized. So this is something that we look, looked into. Um, a lot of people just tie up their kayaks with rope. We decided to go with a bike lock 
because it's a little bit more secure. If say something were to happen with a river and they get pulled away, they're not gonna get pulled away with these, I guarantee it. I don't really fish with my kayak. We go on adventures more often, so I wanted something that kind of portrayed my personality. So I got a pirate flag. Dry box, this is important. We put our phones in here and some of our electronics that we need to keep dry, but also accessible while we're in our kayaks. Um, we also bring battery banks in there too. These are, we have two of them. They're 10,000 milliamp batteries. They're good for about four to five phone charges. And I use them to charge our phones and my GoPro while I'm on the trail. These are our earth pack dry bags. They come in 10, 20, and 30 liters. We got ours on Amazon and I'll leave the link in the description below to get these. We went through about four different products trying to find the best dry bag to use. And these are super sturdy, super durable, and I love them. We have four of these and we put all of our stuff into these. All right. Life vest. We need these by state law. We also have emergency whistles on them. These are also necessary by law. I caught it. This is the spare paddle. This is one of those just in cases that we decided we should bring. This is a collapsible paddle. It breaks down into four different pieces. And just in case one of our paddles breaks while we're on the trails, we wanted to make sure we had a backup. We bring creamer huts. These are shelf stable liquid creamers. Um, we put them in Tupperware so they don't crush. We tried the dry stuff and it just didn't work for us. So that's why we switched to these. So for lunches, we bring tuna. Mix it with a little bit of mayonnaise and you're good to go. Mountain House dehydrated meals. We use these for lunches and dinners. Um, we started using these for lunches because it'll cut down on size. These take up a lot of space. Um, add some water to them, let them sit following the directions on the back. And then these are absolutely fantastic. I love them. And then for dessert, we have hot chocolate. And obviously don't forget breakfast. You can't just have coffee. We used some Mountain House meals, depending on how hard of a paddle we did the day before. And then we also use oatmeal. What's nice about these is you can actually put water straight into these bags, let them sit for a little while, and then chow down. So along with our collapsible cups, we tend to bring these with us as well. These are for our coffee, and they also have measurings on the inside and outside. So this helps us measure out the right amount of water that we need for each meal that we're cooking. These are water shoes. Um, you don't want to step on something you don't want to step on. So that's why we went with these. And then we also have flip-flops that we bring for camp shoes. Rainfly. If you are hammock camping, this is necessary. Just in case it rains, you want a rainfly. Uh, besides this giant pile of stuff that we bring, we also bring our kayaks, obviously. Paddles, of course. And these camp chairs. These are awesome camp chairs. They're super lightweight and we throw them right inside of our kayaks. If you like our content, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Also follow us on Facebook at Backyard Kayaking. There's a lot of exclusive content on there. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time and happy paddling.